What's good, Josh Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out another 10 iconic special moves and taunts that hyped up the fans. We checked out, I believe, the first part of this on uh, Wrestling Flashback. So we're gonna check out uh, the second part of this as well, this compilation. I love when certain wrestlers do uh, a little certain move or whatnot that always gets the fans hype. You know, it's just a part of their I guess you could say their their character, their move set, and you know their overall uh, appearance. So we're gonna get right into this one, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Let's check this out. One, two, is this on? on? Taunts are one of the ways a wrestler can connect with the audience. A signature taunt can be a thing people associate the wrestler with, while at the same time being something the fans can reenact themselves. A taunt mm -hmm. might be a way of hyping up the crowd before a big move, or can simply be something the wrestler does to look cool and stand out. Mm -hmm. We've already covered numerous different examples so far in this series, but we'll highlight some more today as we look at 10 iconic wrestling taunts, part three. Before we start, today's list is sponsored by NordVPN. I've been a Nord customer for years, and if you by fans and wrestlers alike. Be sure wants both members. Go yourself. Suck it. It was first used by Sean Waltman as the one, two, three kid, and later became a staple of mm -hmm. DX's presentation. It fit perfectly with the group's anti-authority rebel identity. The chop was targeted. Hey, how many of y'all got in trouble for hitting the the suck it man back when you was a kid? How many of y'all got in trouble? I know I did, but it was just, just come on, man, just suck it, man. <laughs> by mainstream media for being inappropriate and crass. Crotch Love it. Grabbing, people grabbing their crotches, pointing in that direction and saying suck, suck it. it. <laughs> 11 and 12 year old kids well, in the audience. Yep. But these are just some of the That's reasons what I was it doing. so well. <laughs> suck it. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> suck it. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> Ah, I love it. Ah. Just like when Austin raised his middle finger, if someone did the crotch shop, everyone knew straight away what it meant. You weren't allowed to flip people off. You could stand on a turnbuckle and you could go, hey, buddy, right there. If they go, what does <laughs> that mean? Suck it. As the court was accompanied <laughs> by a just as iconic catchphrase. Suck it. Let's get rid of the suck, suck it. it. <laughs> Undertaker's Take, throat Take me back. The Undertaker Take me has back. long since been an eerie <laughs> supernatural character that sparked fear into the heart of his opponent. But the dead man's powers became even greater by using the throat slash to signal for the tombstone pile mm -hmm. driver. Well, this may be what the Undertaker has to do. The Phenom would stick his tongue out and combine the already famous eye roll with the mm -hmm. throat slash to spell the end for his opponents. The damage still done! The likes of Chris Benoit, Arn Anderson, and The Undertaker's brother Kane also used the throat slash, but when it comes to wrestling, it was The Undertaker. When John Cena did that, I just, I couldn't take it seriously. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Don't ever do that again, John. Who made it famous. Oh. Uh oh Oh my god. Oh. Rob Van Dam points his thumbs. Few wrestlers were mm -hmm. as cool as Rob Van Dam. Love no. RVD. Oh. His innovative in-ring style resulted in a special connection with the crowd that was complemented by a legendary taunt that fans love to replicate. Mm -hmm. One of a kind was the perfect way to describe mm -hmm. Rob and no one was cooler and no one got higher than RVD. Don't do it! No! RVD's goat. Oh my god. Daniel Bryan says yes. The mm -hmm. yes chant has become one of modern wrestling's most recognizable catchphrases and taunts. Mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan drew inspiration from mixed martial artist Diego Sanchez, who would repeat the word yes during his entrance. People on the underground forum make fun of all the time this yes wow. thing because he gets so That's where he got it from. Well, Sanchez was himself inspired to say yes by motivational speaker Tony Robbins. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Daniel wow. Bryan first used the line while holding the world championship after Vince McMahon had told him to celebrate all his victories as if he'd won the Super Bowl. Mm. Tell me the world, yes! The yes taunt was then born and it so quickly cool. got over with the fans. This is despite the fact that Bryan began using the taunt as a heel. And would even go as far as to introduce a no taunt to mm -hmm. counteract the fans chanting yes. Yes, man to a no man. No! Yes! Well, you more of a no! 
Yes! Yes! No! However, once Brian turned face again, he was ready to embrace what would eventually become the Yes movement. Mm -hmm. yes! Look at that, bro. Yes! 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 Which ultimately led him to the main event of WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. yes! One of the one of the greatest main events of all time, man. <laughs> it's one of them. Yes Brian most commonly used the yes taunt during his entrance, as well as before performing his running knee finishing move. Led by the yes movement, Daniel Bryan with a running. DDP's diamond cutter sign. Mm. I got two words for you. Uh, uh, diamond cutter. The diamond <laughs> was one of the most popular wrestling moves of the 90s. Mm -hmm. The fans just couldn't wait to see where DDP would hit the maneuver from. They loved the move and the man behind it. Mm -hmm. DDP was the first people's champion. The people love Diamond Dallas Page and they should. He could often be seen entering and leaving through the crowd where he would throw up the diamond cutter sign along with the fans. The diamond cutter sign helped DDP cement himself as a mm -hmm. huge baby face in WCW Perfect. by establishing a popular taunt all the fans could replicate. DDP! Scott Hall's toothpick throw. Rest we could have gone peace. with his taunt to signal for the razor's edge, the spooky fingers, the pointing then the signature pose, or the too sweet sign. But we've chosen the toothpick throw because of its uniqueness and how much it fit the character. Mm -hmm. From his look to the numerous taunts, and whether he was Scott Hall or Razor Ramon, the bad guy oozed charisma. Just chewing the toothpick helped add to the cool factor of Razor, but yep. then he took it a step further by throwing the toothpick at the camera and his opponent. DDP was the one who initially suggested using the toothpick on television after the idea came to him whilst in a Waffle House. And I grabbed the toothpick for both of us. And I look at Scotty and go, I got an idea. When we get to the promo, we take the toothpicks out and we flick them to the camera. The toothpick throw was wow. one of the little things that Scott did. But as is often the case in wrestling, the little things can end up having a big impact. Yeah. Rick Flair. Yeah, man. Rick it's Flair just, is just subtle, but he's so cool with it. He's the cool bad guy. Get out of here. I love it, man. Rest in peace. Out of many robes, many championships, and many taunts. Mm -hmm. From the flare flop to begging for mercy. Yep. To dropping the elbow on his pocket. <laughs> Flair was also renowned for his ability to talk the talk, but he was able to back this up by quite literally walking, <laughs> walking the walk. Here comes, Here comes he's, the nature boy. He's styling and profiling on his way to the ring, and he's, he's getting under <laughs> Nature Boy styled and profiled with the famous flare strut, yeah. laying out a few woos along the way. Woo! The walk was inspired by Jackie Fargo, who also influenced Jeff Jarrett's version of the strut. Look at the king strut there. When it comes to wrestling, it doesn't get any more legendary oh. than Ric Flair. And the iconic Flair strut was just yeah. one of the ways Nate showcased who he was. As the limousine riding, jet flying, kiss mm. stealing, wheeling dealing, dealing, son of a gun. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> 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 and do it. Keep on <laughs> Goldberg gears up for the jackhammer. During his entrance, Goldberg set the tone for what was to come. First by banging his head off a steel door, mm -hmm. and then being shot with pyro, only to walk away breathing smoke. Smoke would be coming out of his nostrils. Used to remind me of that Bugs Bunny cartoon with that bull. <laughs> Then once the bell rang, mm -hmm. Goldberg had an explosive in-ring style. And this quickly resonated with the fans in the late mm -hmm. 90s. Goldberg's matches were finished off with a spear and jackhammer combination that took wrestling by storm. Goldberg first set up for the spear by crouching down in the corner yep. and measuring his opponent as the crowd what? stood on their feet. Following Loved the spear, spear, Goldberg hyped the fans even more by jumping in the air and snarling at the camera in anticipation of the jackhammer. And This encapsulated oh Goldberg's Octane style and ridiculously intense persona. His matches were so different and chaotic, the fans just ate it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Goldberg later added a throat sash and pointing to the sky taunt to signal for the jackhammer, but the fans knew exactly what was coming Woo! as soon as Goldberg hit the spear. The fans reacted with excitement while Goldberg taunted in the ring and the announcers went nuts on commentary. Crystal clear why Sanders booked this match. Woo! Oh, 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 <laughs> I didn't like this. Dudley Boys Did like Wazza. Inspired by the Budweiser commercial that itself was inspired by a short film, <laughs> the Dudley Boys were able to take a pop culture reference mm -hmm. and smartly include it as part of their act. <laughs> when Bubba hit the speech slam and pointed his thumbs towards the sky, yep. it left us all Waza. asking the question, Waza. The answer was Devon, who came down from the top rope, burying his head into the opponent's groin, but not before performing the iconic <laughs> corner phrase. I don't, uh, I don't think Victoria's wearing a cup, but I might be wrong. The fans always pop big for the move, while of even course. the announcers couldn't help but repeat the phrase. <laughs> the Waza headbutt was usually a precursor to another iconic yep. WWE taunt, Get the Table. Get the Table. <laughs> Love it. Samoa Joe walks away. Samoa mm. Joe walking away as his opponent <laughs> attempted an aerial maneuver was a simple yet effective way to counter a move. No. Nope. Joe nonchalantly walks out of the way of that crossbody. No. Nope. King, nothing but I love that. <laughs> the way Joe just casually strolled away was funny and smart at the same time. Yeah. And now Tony needs nobody home. Joseph, see you later, buddy. Yeah. I'm not about to do that. You seen too much. It made sense, as why exert extra energy dodging an attack when you can just calmly step out the way? Yeah. It made sense. Both men going for missile drop kicks Joe out of the way. Talked earlier about the power game. Yeah, I'm not about to catch you. <laughs> Is off and off the, rope. Joe just walks away. the opponent always crashes and burns while Joe literally walks away without a scratch. It's such a Joe good, good maneuver. Dan it's Dan just walking away. And that brings us to the end of this video. As this always, is great, if you man. The video, be sure to give it a like. Hey, man, definitely. We're going to go ahead and give this video a like because Wrestling Flashback has some of the great, best wrestling content on YouTube, man. Uh, yeah, just what are we talking about? I see you jumping off the ropes or whatever. Why catch you? Why potentially injure myself? Why not just walk away? Just, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> and you just crash and burn. And just sit there like, no, I'm not. No, I love that. I love the Sajoa, uh, Sajoa, Samoa Joe. Nope. I love it. That was great, man. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite uh, iconic special move or taunt from this particular video appreciate all of love and support you guys have shown on our channel road to 150k and i'm sitting in the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world and your intercultural heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace